Greetings and shalom, friends, family, partners. Uh, Brent Johnson, director of Jacob's Hope here, coming to you from our international offices, downtown Springfield, Missouri. And uh, behind the camera, of course, is Wade Clark, uh, who conducts our videos and maintains our website. Please visit our website, www.jacobshope.com, for videos and updates. And also, thank you to those who have been signing up uh, on his uh, wife's Debbie Clark's uh, Wow, Watchman on the Wall Prayer and Intercession. Uh, make note of that. Sign up on the website to be a part of praying for the Jewish people around the world and for the ministry of Jacob's Hope and its impact and influence uh, and blessing that's taking place through this ministry to Jewish people in Israel, in Africa, in South America, and in Eastern Europe. We appreciate you doing that and partnering with us. Just wanted to give you an update today uh, regarding some things uh, that are taking place even in the midst of pandemics, even in the midst of uh, it being summertime. Wanted to give you an update. Uh, our biennium meeting of the Assemblies of God, uh, the United States Assembly of God, uh, their biennium meeting is going to be coming in just over two weeks uh, in Orlando, Florida. And, of course, we will be there along with uh, thousands of other people, uh, Assembly of God World Missions, U.S. Missions, and, of course, the General Council of the Assemblies of God will be there uh, in session. And uh, it's an opportunity to greet people. It's an opportunity to uh, make people aware of uh, the various ministries of the Assemblies of God. And so uh, be, be in prayer about that. There will be elections that will be taking place and uh, be in prayer about the first week in August, uh, August 1st through the 6th, uh, over these matters, over uh, awareness, uh, bringing awareness of, to people about the Jewish people and about the ministry of Jacob's Hope and other uh, missions that will be there reaching people with the good news of the gospel of Yeshua Mashiach, Jesus the Messiah, around the world to many unreached people groups around the world. So please be in prayer about that uh, with us and for traveling mercies for us and our time there uh, in Orlando. It will be a blessed time. The Lord is going to be there. Uh, I would remind you that those of you that are going, please consider attending two events that are going to be taking place there, the National Jewish Fellowship of the Assemblies of God. Uh, NJF will host a lunch uh, on Friday, a luncheon. Uh, that you can be a part of, the cost is minimal, uh, and come and learn about what the National Jewish Fellowship, the U.S. part, arm of reaching Jewish people in the United States is all about. I think you'd find it very interesting. Also, uh, AGWM, Assembly of God World Missions, will be hosting a missions dinner uh, in the afternoon that Friday, August 6th at 4.30, uh, regarding prayer and bridging the gap to reach people. Uh, many unreached people groups, about seven or eight in all, and one of those unreached people groups, the Jewish people. It's going to be a great evening of prayer and of intercession and of learning more about how to reach and the efforts being made to reach the Jewish people. So be in prayer about both of those things, and this is my personal invitation for you to attend uh, both of those events. So please be aware of that. I wanted to also bring you up to date on the ministry of Jacob's Hope in the areas where we're currently serving. Uh, and that is in Ethiopia, God, by his spirit, is moving. He's granted us great favor with the national church. He's granted us favor among the Jewish people uh, at the Bible college there. And uh, we're looking forward to what God is doing. Uh, but as you go on the website, you'll notice some videos regarding the dedication of wells, water well that uh, Jacob's Hope sponsored uh, a conference and conferences that we've done with both Jewish believers and Gentile believers together in one place, talking about discipleship, evangelism, reaching Jewish people, reaching non-Jewish people in the area, and bringing people together as one new man, as it talks about in Ephesians chapter 2, for God's kingdom purposes and expansion in these last days among the Jewish people. So please be in prayer about that. We're looking forward to sponsoring more, uh, having some more conferences. Uh, also, 
another uh, avenue there of ministry and evangelism is getting the Amharic Bible uh, into Ethiopia. God has favored us and is providing uh, resources through you and through your prayers to get a hold of the Amharic Bible. It's the only place in the world where Amharic is spoken, and that's in Ethiopia. So we're trying to get hundreds of copies uh, into that land and into Assembly of God pastors' hands, Jewish believers' leadership uh, in their hands to see God's word go forth, this good news of Messiah Yeshua uh, into the hands of these believers and hosting a conference uh, hopefully in the near future next year to uh, bring awareness, Jewish awareness uh, in the land of Ethiopia to these uh, non-Jewish pastors of the Assemblies of God in hopes that they will gain a heart and an understanding and a greater understanding of the blessing that's involved in reaching the Jewish people and opening up avenues, prophetic avenues to reaching the nations. This is what God called his people to do. And so we're part of that there, the ministry of Jacob's Hope, and we thank God for you and your partnership in this. So please be aware of this, and uh, we'll be doing uh, some Jewish studies courses as well there at the college. So be in prayer about these things, but please consider what the Lord would have you to do for the Jewish people there in Ethiopia and for those who need to become more aware, the church to become more aware of the blessing uh, and the ministry behind that in reaching the Jewish people. Uh, in Israel, uh, even though uh, conditions there change, uh, I know you hear about it, pray about it in the news, and pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Uh, in the midst of all of that, our Hope Center is still conducting uh, ministry operations full force uh, going forward with various groups, again, uh, cancer survivor groups, widow and widower groups, Holocaust surviving groups, uh, Bible studies, Messianic Bible studies taking place uh, in the land there on a regular monthly basis. Also some Messianic congregations are utilizing our facilities. So we are just thanking the Lord for his favor. We are in favor with the municipality uh, there. The government, uh, local government leaders have used this facility, so we're grateful to God for what he is doing, and we look to see uh, that to expand even more to some surrounding uh, cities uh, in that particular area. So please be in prayer with us about that and pray for our compassion team there in Israel that God would just continue to bless and sustain them as they labor for the ministry of Jacob's hope there in the land of Israel. Uh, Buenos Aires, Argentina had an opportunity to do a chapel uh, with them. It's always glorious to be part of IBRP, the Bible college there, and see the students. And that was uh, another experience, another encounter where the Lord really moved via Zoom. Uh, we thank God for the technology. It's different. So we Zoomed in and Zoomed out, but uh, we saw the Lord Zoom into their hearts and lives there and uh, just encourage them. Very challenging time for students and leadership alike there. So please be praying uh, there as well for new opportunities as the Lord makes them aware. The Clarks, uh, Wade and W. Clark, will be going to uh, El Salvador in September. Be praying about this. It's, uh, it's kind of an exploratory uh, mission and work uh, to do an assessment to see how we can bless the Jewish people in Central America and uh, putting together future opportunities. But this initial entry into this region uh, is new for Jacob's Hope. So be praying about that, as, uh, that the Lord would go before Wade and Debbie and just give them favor and open doors, uh, not only for this time, but for the future. And we thank God for that, for your prayers, for your financial support. We're grateful. You know, the Lord is doing many, many things in the earth right now. Uh, these are perilous times that Paul talked about, that Yeshua, Jesus, spoke about uh, in the Gospels, uh, a spirit of lawlessness in Matthew 24, 12. Uh, uh, these kinds of things, wars and rumors of wars and pestilence coming upon the earth. We don't like to see these things come. They negatively impact us in a variety of ways, friends, families, co-workers, ministry, missions, in all of these areas, things become very, very challenging. 
And it can be depressing. It can be very dark, but it's not, friends. These things must come to pass. Jesus himself said, these things must come to pass. These things must come to pass, but these are also signs of his glorious coming. He he goes on in Matthew 24 to say, we will see, he declares, we will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great glory and power. And the Jewish people in one point, not in the too distant future, I believe, will cry out, Baruch haba Bashem Adonai, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And that's their hope. That's our hope. He is our hope. Yeshua Mashiach, Jesus the Messiah and coming King, remains our steadfast love, our steadfast hope, our steadfast strength, and our steadfast shalom is found in Messiah Jesus today. So friends, partners, family, be encouraged today that the God of hope will bring hope to your own heart and life as he's bringing hope and blessing to the Jewish people. He'll do the same for us as we bless them and go forward in these last days for such a time as this. God has brought us to this point that you and I would be part of this last day's revival to see Jewish people come to faith in their Jewish Messiah and the nations too would come to faith in their Jewish Messiah, Jesus. Amen. Shalom, shalom, friends. God bless you and thank you. Todah Thank you very much.